Hi guys, welcome back. This is a speed test between the Nokia 8 versus number 5. Actually, I'm just telling note it always. So anyway, uh, both devices are powered by the Snapdragon 835, the latest. And already I'm using another Snapdragon 835 device, which is Galaxy S8 4 GB RAM. And this is 8 GB RAM model of number 5. So in case you have 6 GB RAM model, that should be also pretty great. So I'm just telling you my first impression as a uh, you know uh, in terms of performance so i'm using this device for almost two days now so all i can say that uh, this device is working as great as one plus five but i'm um, just uh, feeling that if it has six keywords ram definitely it is more helpful because you know uh, we, we generally don't turn off our device nowadays and if you have uh, in between the one or two days you may have launched many many dozens of applications so if you have more amount of ram definitely that will help you in keeping your all the apps synced in the background you don't need to just refresh that's what i felt in the nokia 8 so we will see uh, booting time benchmarking results comparison and also real life speed test in terms of and also here we are going to see which application is going to launch faster so in terms of launching time both application phones are working great because they share the same amount of clock records and same processor just in terms of memory management one plus five i feel is a better so guys let's do it a quick real life test between uh, these two devices before we start our speed test so this real life test will, will give you guys an exact idea if you are just launching some regular set of applications uh, shortcuts placed on the desktop or home screen so that will give you an overall rough figure like if you are launching all this application 10 times or 20 times in a day so how much time you are going to save or which device is going to save lot of seconds and minutes for you so that is the main thing you are going to see the same application on the speed test also so as you can see when one to five has just taken three minutes and four seconds on average so nokia 8 is still doing so it seems to be uh, like you know sort of behind the one plus five so let's see how much time seconds total difference are we going to get it so here it is uh, nokia 8 is completed so the difference is the 41 second guys so just take a look how much time difference does it takes so let's do our speed test this is application we are going to launch so i'm going to close all the things stuff first here so these are the basic applications social applications some set of games and uh, these are basically this uh, uh, chrome shortcuts in case you wanted to have it chrome web based applications so just use it so starting from the facebook in three two one so one thing i will say about a35 is really faster so for a small application you won't notice anything else because uh, just a fraction of milliseconds you can see they both are working great so i wanted to show you guys here the memory management too because you know having a more amount of ram is always a good thing in your phone it will definitely help you keeping so many applications together so social applications they just launch fine starting with the games temple and two three two one there won't be much difference in terms of launching speed as you can see just a couple of milliseconds only so near about to the i guess uh, fraction of milliseconds difference nothing more than that and one thing i will say guys this has a smaller fingerprint sensor they should have made it a little bigger anyways subway surfer three two one one plus nokia eight first here so you can see sometimes it has issues when you have such a tiny fingerprint sensor. Pokemon Go, this is the worst game I will say, takes a hell out of time in launching. So we got first on the OnePlus 5, Nokia 8 is still loading. So maybe this is due to lesser amount of ram because having the same amount of processor and need about the same clock speed definitely ram helps a lot so we have got the game now it's time for some heavy games this is tetrica 2 in 3 2 1 just uh, i guess second later here on the nokia 8 now the heaviest here the x fall 8 in 3 2 1 1 plus 5 uh, is too far here i guess 2 to 3 seconds difference so these are guys the games we have launched some built-in application setting faster on the one plus 5 Camera is a little bit slow in the Nokia I will tell you. It takes a bit of time in focus, you can see. It has taken at least uh, one second more to just do a focus. 
so some web application facebook this is a chrome shortcut so try to use web apps if possible they save you a lot of internet and sorry for that so they are still loading there could be some internet issues otherwise it's okay rendering is faster on the nokia 8 compared to the one plus 5 as you can see still this guy is loading just downloading data I don't know where it is going so now it has got so HTML rendering is not great in oneplus seems you can see it's just kind of hung up some places I'm just going to close all the pages and I'm just going to launch some different page now so this is Twitter Lite 3 2 1 So they both are, I don't know where this whole data is going. Again, Nokia 8 got the data first. So we will assume this has a winner. This is late again. And YouTube, let's see. You can just subscribe here in case you wanted to guys, I'm just saying. So again, Nokia performs the OnePlus 5 in HTML rendering. So last one, Instagram. First year on the Nokia 8, so definitely HTML rendering in faster in the Nokia 8. So uh, about time. Now let's do uh, resume this all the stuff again. So I'm just going to resume from here. So let's see which one refreshes data. So watch the game section carefully. Facebook. They both are doing refresh sort of. That is okay. Twitter. YouTube. Same place. Instagram so they are fine so this is important so that's why I want to say you guys if you have more amount of RAM it is definitely helpful see which phone is keeping all the game at least if they have four or five then it is very great let's see temple and two on the memory good surface surfer on the memory and I believe this one is going to refresh the Pokemon go and this one is, is, is not you can see so I really don't understand about this Pokemon Go in most of the devices it does refreshes but here on the oneplus devices mostly in the oneplus 5 it always just keeps it looks like it's gonna need so much memory so I'm just going to minimize it let it run in the background that trigger to I hope uh, it should it should not be in the memory also here it is see it's refreshing so it's just ran out of the memory because we have launched so many application so for heavy users Pick the more amount of RAM phone, you can see. So, you know, the game which are taking a lot of memory, they are being just pushed off. So, that is where RAM actually comes in the picture. So, it's refreshing. So, guys, this is your about the games. Let's see about the settings uh, on the same place. Now, this time, see whether the camera really focuses fast or not because already should be in the memory. If it is, camera is also just reloading, sort of. Uh, web based applications are also getting refreshed. So again okay, HTML rendering in faster on the Nokia 8 followed by OnePlus 5, Twitter Lite, YouTube, Instagram, same place. So guys this is your thing. Now I'm just going to turn the off phone and let's see which one is also turning off faster. So I believe uh, Nokia 8 should be turning off faster because they have extra set of steps that is what I really don't like. So power off here in 3, 2, 1. Which one? I guess this one has already turned off. Yeah, I felt the vibration here. Now this is it. So guys, this is a speed test between the Nokia 8 versus the OnePlus 5. So this is your Nokia 8 and this is your OnePlus 5. Both are turned off right now. I'm just going to turn them on in 3, 2, 1. So, so far I have seen Nokia phones, uh, this Nokia 8 especially, booting very fast. So it should be coming up pretty much soon but that's not important fine. I'm just showing you guys how much time does it takes in case you are restarting your phone very frequently. So a couple of seconds may be important for you. So as you can see, uh, 
just taken I guess 20 second 24 second if I can tell you exact data it's taking near to 23 to 24 seconds in putting and this one is taking more than uh, 30 to 35 seconds but that's not less that is again a very great number so here is the benchmarking result starting with the end to two, three two one so you guys can notice the launching time too so this is the highest that I have got I guess if I am correct so 173k and this is the average score because the usual the highest score for one plus five always comes to be near to 178k or something so turning off the light now I'm going to test again in three two one so guys we are about to complete the results and you might have seen this thing like one plus five is moving faster compared to the nokia 8 so we have got the 177k so highest i have seen is 179 so this is your n2 for and this one is for the nokia 8 this is again i guess the second highest i have got now it's time for the geek benchmark 3 2 1 and here we go again in 3 2 1 so we are about to complete our geek benchmark results so i guess it should be 6.5 near to 6000k that's what i used to get in one plus five and mostly on the nokia 8 also so this is his score so, oh my god and nokia 8 outperformed in numbers here on the geek which mark that's really strange and uh, that's okay guys because both devices are running snapdragon 85 from same android version so could be possible conclusion time so as we have seen uh, in the real life test also there is about 40 seconds difference between the note nokia 8 versus one plus five so if really 40 seconds is very important for you you i mean you are just complete a uh, hardcore user of the smartphone so go with the one plus five otherwise if you are a casual user you just want a great performing latest specs so nokia 8 should be great for you so guys thank you so much for watching this is Saurabh. i'll talk to you very soon have a great day